endoscopic ultrasound guided gastroenterostomy versus duodenal stenting for malignant gastric outlet obstruction, an international multi center propensity score matched comparison. Introduction Gastric outlet obstruction, GOO, is a common complication of malignant tumors arising from the pancreas and gastric antrum. Less commonly, GOO may also arise due to malignant infiltration or external compression from tumors arising from bile ducts, gallbladder, duodenum, ampulla, retroperitoneum, or metastases. This may lead to recurrent vomiting, dehydration, malnourishment, and inability to tolerate chemotherapy, which severely impair quality of life. Only a minority of patients with malignant GOO present with a resectable tumor. Most often, GOO is indicative of locally advanced disease and requires palliative treatment. Traditionally, treatment options for GOO consisted of surgical gastroenterostomy or endoscopic duodenal stenting. Three underpowered randomized controlled trials comparing surgical management with endoscopic duodenal stenting yielded inconsistent results. This has led various societies, including the American Gastroenterology Association and American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, ASGE, to advise laparoscopic gastroenterostomy in clinically fit patients with an expected survival of more than two to six months because of long-term patency of the surgical anastomosis, whereas duodenal stenting is reserved for patients with an expected survival of less than two to six months. Duodenal stenting leads to rapid relief of symptoms and shows low morbidity compared with surgical gastroenterostomy, but has been associated with a high rate of stent dysfunction due to tumor ingrowth, which requires re-intervention. However, in daily clinical practice, survival can be notoriously difficult to predict, and surgeons are often reluctant to subject patients with malignant GOO to surgical interventions. This, together with patient preference, likely contributes to duodenal stenting still being used in the majority of patients with malignant GOO. Endoscopic ultrasound-guided gastroenterostomy, EUSGE, is a relatively new, minimally invasive technique that provides rapid relief of symptoms associated with low morbidity and long-term patency of the anastomosis. Recently, multiple retrospective series comparing EUSGE with surgical gastroenterostomy have indeed shown similarly high technical and clinical success rates, with significantly faster relief of symptoms, shorter hospital stay, and lower morbidity with EUSGE. Data comparing EUSGE and duodenal stenting are limited, with most studies not controlling for confounders, making interpretation of outcomes data difficult. More data on this matter are needed to define the most optimal treatment strategy in these frail patients. The aim of the current study was to compare efficacy, safety, and stent dysfunction rate of EUSGE versus duodenal stenting in patients with malignant GOO with propensity score matching to correct for confounders. Methods this international multi-center retrospective study analyzed consecutive patients undergoing EUSGE or duodenal stenting for GOO between 2015 and 2021 in three European centers. Primary outcomes were clinical success and stent dysfunction. A propensity score matching one-to-one -one analysis was performed using age, sex, underlying disease, disease stage, ascites, and peritoneal carcinomatosis as variables. Results. 107 patients underwent EUSGE and another 107 patients underwent duodenal stenting. After propensity score matching, 176 patients were matched and compared. Technical success rates for EUSGE and duodenal stenting were 94% versus 98% respectively. Clinical success rates were 91% versus 75%. Stent dysfunction occurred in 1% versus 26% of patients. Adverse event rate was 10% versus 21%. Conclusion EUSGE had higher clinical success and lower stent dysfunction with similar safety compared with duodenal stenting, 
suggesting that EUSGE may be preferred over duodenal stenting in patients with malignant GOO.